Um, there's another story uh, that's been in the headlines this week, and this is a 17-year-old, who cannot be named, he suffered irreparable sight loss after living on a diet of chips and crisps. Since leaving primary school, the teen had only been eating French fries, Pringles and white bread, as well as the occasional slice of ham or a sausage. Tess revealed that he had a severe vitamin deficiencies and malnutrition damages. So he'd been to see his GP when he was, when he was 14 because he was feeling tired and unwell. Mm, yeah. And, and basically, I mean, now he's blind and, and partially deaf as well. And basically, he had what's called nutritional optic atrophy. Yeah. This is caused by severe malnutrition, uh, the sort of condition you'd only see in Africa and underdeveloped countries. Right. So probably the first case in the UK. Well, we, um, the, the, the doctor who treated him at hospital, uh, Dr Denise uh, Assan, said uh, that his diet was essentially a portion of chips from the local fish and chip shop every day. And as, as Holly said, he was snacking as well. We've actually... Uh, got uh, the doctor who saw him on uh, on FaceTime now. Um, so, uh, uh, Dr. Atan, uh, thank you very much indeed for, for joining yeah, us. Yeah, good morning. Can you, can you, how did, how did this happen? Um, well, I think when the boy um, initially presented to his GP with tiredness, um, he was 14 and he'd been following this diet for at least three or four years. So that in itself is an indication of how long it takes to deplete your normal vitamin stores. Um, and at that stage, he was found to be deficient in vitamin B12. And really, that should have been a red flag um, to signify, you know, if someone's following a poor diet, has a deficiency in that, at least one vitamin because of their poor diet, they're very likely to be deficient in other vitamins as well. Um, and there are, uh, there's a huge range of vitamins that are important for visual health. And uh, this particular case was likely to have had a problem with all of those. Mm. So what happened in this case is he was treated for the vitamin B12, but not necessarily everything else in his diet. And then he went on to develop visual problems, hearing problems, as you've heard. Um, his... Um, B12 replacement actually had lapsed by the time we saw him when he was 17. Um, and at that stage, he had irre irreversible damage to his optic nerves. So even with vitamin supplements at that stage, the potential for recovery is much more limited. And so how common is something like this then? Well, vitamin deficiencies are very common, but clearly um, losing your sight because of them is very uncommon. I, I couldn't say this is the first case in the UK, actually. I suspect there are others and, and that potentially the diagnosis is missed or delayed um, if the tests simply aren't, aren't done. Um, so I, although I don't think it's a widespread problem, it is an uncommon and serious problem. Um, vitamin de deficiencies are quite widespread and we need to be aware of this. It's uh, Obviously, we don't know the, um, the, the circumstances behind uh, this boy's diet, what his, uh, what his family life was like, but as a general warning to other parents, um, if you don't check your child's diet, then this could be the extreme end result. Yeah, so this this, fam this case's family did try very hard mm. to introduce um, fruits and vegetables to his diet. And this particular teenager had a very strong aversion to certain types of food. And he's likely to have had an underlying eating disorder. So I think picky eating taken to this extreme would be classified as an eating disorder. And so would, would have taken vit taking vitamins earlier on have helped him in some way? Yeah, I mean, taking vitamins would, would have helped. But of course, the sort of vitamin supplements that you can buy over the counter all vary in terms of which vitamins they include and the doses of the vitamins they include. Um, so you, you can never really be sure um, that vitamin supplements will will you know protect you completely for this from this type of thing mm -hmm. and actually the the best advice i can give is to make sure that you have a, a balanced diet that includes a variety of different vegetables not just one or two but a huge range you know nuts seeds 
uh, lots of different foods and then you can guarantee that you'll get the full range of vitamins unfortunately there isn't a single food that can provide you with all the vitamins and minerals that you need so you do need that variety in your diet all Thanks, right Dr. thank you for joining us thank this morning and, and dr chris don't eat that all save me a slice please mm -hmm. <laughs>